so here's what everything looks like um, blasted. We got the helicoil in there. Um, we're going to rinse it out one more time just because there's some residue left on all the parts. But they came out really nice. So there's some residue you can see left on there. Um, just one more rinse to get all that out and then we'll start reassembling it. We got the uh, crankcase back together. Um, super simple. Only uh, literally just the balancer, camshaft, and the crank. Um, got all the gasket sealer in there. I, mean, I probably put a little too much on there, but it won't hurt anything. Um, I have to put in the oil pump and time all the gears, and then I'll go ahead and put the pistons in and get the cylinder on. Okay, so I got the cylinder on. It was a bit of a pain, but to get the rings in there. Um, but now I'm gonna put the valves in the cylinder head and get that on. Here it is, I'll put back together. It's missing the side cover right now. That's because we're waiting on an, a part for the oil pump, but it's mostly together. Uh, other than the oil pump shaft, everything has gone smoothly. It was just a little rusty, so that's why I was decided to put a new one on there. I got the dipstick and other small stuff like that on. There was that still has to go in, but it's really close. All right, so we got all our parts here for this oil pump, and now we're just gonna put it back together. It just kind of slides in. You just push that in, and then you push the bearing in. Yeah. All right, so now that our uh, oil pump's rebuilt, we gotta put it back in. So yeah. let's do it. Just slides on in here. Don't really need much explaining, just bolts in. This, this uh, punch is actually in here because this gear is, has some um, springs in it. So we need to line up the teeth so we can tighten these gears. And there's a special Polaris tool that you can buy, but I just figured I'd do it this way. Yeah, and then we're just snapping these two bolts in. Yeah, that, there's our new shaft. That's what we needed, that machine surface. And then after this, it's just put the cape, put this like, this case on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get that on. Alright, so now we're just putting this case inside of a case on. Yeah, there's actually a couple of different bolts, but... Hold on. This is the water pump seal. Um, you want the shaft that's going in the seal to be perfectly smooth, because this is a mechanical seal. So, if, they're, if the shaft is rusty, like ours was, um, you need to replace it because it'll leak and cause all kinds of problems like this engine had. So this last piece, this is there's two ceramic um, kind of washers and those are the last seal that spins. And then aluminum impeller. The plastic ones will melt when they get hot and just cause a chain reaction of death. So yeah, get the aluminum impeller. So if this bushing is bad, you're gonna want to replace it because this is a starter clutch and this tends to get destroyed so that's why I replaced it. These are super cheap so I just recommend replacing it if you're doing a rebuild. This just slides in here. This goes in first and then you got Ragnito. Line that up with the holes and then it's gonna be the flywheel. Alright so now we got this outer cover on and then after that we just put this, uh, this water pump cover on. And then I think we'll be done, right? Is that it? Valve cover? Yeah. Uh, let's just make sure we don't have anything else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Alright, we're done. So then after this, the next time you'll see it, it'll be going back into the Ranger. Alright, now we're going to put the engine back in. Uh, if, if you don't know how to do anything, you can just refer to our uh, first video. Because, I mean, it's just bolts and plugs. I mean, it's easy. So... Yeah, if you have any problems, just refer to our first video. So the next clip you see, it will be 100% back together and done. Here it is, idled perfectly. Um, got it broken in, changed all the fluids, and I'm just about ready to give it back to him. I just have to mount this uh, box on there. Figure that out, and then it'll be done. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, so sorry this video kind of sucked. Uh, <laughs> we had some issues like filming back and forth and stuff and kind of working between school nights and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. I apologize for any uh, like inconsistencies and like uh, 
putting an engine together and stuff itself, but um, I think we kind of got a general idea of the project. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and yeah.